Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we've got an unboxing and it's one of our nice white boxes again from Crystal Art Craft Buddy. Let's have a look and see what we've got. I've opened the sides but I've not peeked inside but there is quite a few different things in this one today. So oh, you don't need to see that one, that's my uh, invoice. Pop that out of the way. Okay. So, let's have a look. Let's take these out. We have some cards, which are the new size cards. We have some stamps, if you like stamping. Now then, these are different stamps because they're a great way to use up your crystals that you've got left over or your drawers you've got left over. And then we have another box. Oops, sorry about that. Just bashing you, just get that box out the way. Okay, good job it's blue bin day tomorrow, which is our recycling bin to get rid of this cardboard. They do take cardboard. We'll have a look at this one um, in a separate video because I'm going to kit this one up as well because I want to work on this one. You may have an inkling with the shape and the size of it as to what it is, but I'll show you it in the next video. Right, I'll do the cards in a second and then I'm going to do the stamps in a separate video as well. But just to give you a basic idea, uh, these are three of the flowers I need to, there is another one, there is a sunflower, I need to get that one. Um, I will have that one on the way shortly. Um, but basically, they have the stamps, they're lovely large stamps as well. Uh, they have guide circles on them and that's where you can put your spare crystals or your spare resin drills um, to use them up, well, your leftovers, which is a great idea. Um, and that's just pictures of them all done there okay and then i've also bought the extra which is the wording which i mean happy birthday um most people will need that one we've got mr and mrs and we've got a thank you down there as well and again it's got all the little guide circles as to where you can put your crystals and your dots obviously it's yours so you can do whatever you like but we'll do that in a separate video and we'll try out the stamps but today i'm going to do the cards because you know how much I love my Craft Buddy cards. And we have five new ones. We have a snowman, sorry, the C word, the Christmas word in uh, April. We have a celebration, which is champagne glasses, which is great for celebrating a birthday, 18th, 21st, 60th, weddings, engagements, anniversaries, uh, congratulations, anything that one, that's brilliant. We have um, a mandala one, which again, great for any occasion or to add on to something. Uh, we have the tree, which is my favourite. I've seen this one done and it is absolutely oh, superb. The gems on it are wonderful. We're going to have a closer look at all these. And then the butterfly, which again is just so generic. Get well soon. Happy birthday, whichever you like to do. So let's get the Christmas one out the way first. Although, to say Christmas, snowman, we have had snow this week here in the UK. Um, I don't know whether you've had snow where you are, but yeah, it's quite unusual to have snow in April in the UK. Okay, so let's just open these up carefully. Look at the packet. So it gives you, it's a, a 10 by 15 centimetre card. Let's see if we can focus there. Um, it's your diamond painting and DIY crystal art. Sorry, I was trying to read the, I think that's French there. <laughs> I can't read French. <laughs> and then, of course, all our new card kits are having the DMC codes on the back as well, which is fantastic. Um, and then it just tells you what you get in your kit. And we're Craft Buddy Limited and Crystal Card Kit on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and there is a Facebook group as well. I'll put a link down below because the Facebook group's brilliant if you're wanting to see uh, what other people are up to and just want to ask questions if you get stuck on anything. Okay, so these are a little bit smaller and possibly if you're wanting to post them, possibly a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure because obviously you've still got your diamonds that will go on them. Let's do a, a quick measure. Okay, you get your nice... Good quality envelope as well. That's not a see-through envelope. It's not a real thin envelope. It's a good size. Okay. So, let me just have a quick measure. So, yeah, we're 
four inches or ten centimeters that way by six inches which is 15 centimeters that way so it's basically like um a basic photograph size so if you've got any um photo frames little six by four photo frames 10 by 15 these would fit in your little photo frames as well so that would be quite nice you could put that in a frame for uh, christmas and then somebody could keep it for afterwards or put it out every year which would be quite nice so again blank inside um i've said before when i've opened cards i do like to put a piece of paper um put an insert in there but again it's blank you can write on there if you've got good handwriting um you can use your rubber stamps you could use the rubber stamps that i've just got um you can use labels or you can use stickers whatever you want to do but the choice is yours with that but i think he's a really cute little snowman with his little robin friend look um it's a partial so your background isn't sticky albeit you could use um your little glue um uh, craft buddy glue with its precision tip on which uh, works really well. i do like the craft buddy glue with the precision tip it's taken me a while to get used to it because i'm used to using other sorts of glues but uh, yeah uh, so you just put little blobs of glue and then you can just put little blobs um of glitter or whatever you want to do that or you could use glitter glue uh, but I, I tend to find that glitter glue goes flat after a while whereas the uh, glue using it as like a little dome and then covering it over with glitter seems to stay a bit more raised up okay so you can see the drill field is really really clear on that you can see all that there are guide circles on it but they're reasonably pale it just means you've got to be quite precise about where you put your drill otherwise the black edges will show through but once you get used to diamond painting, that's not a problem. You do get used to doing that. And because it's poured glue, uh, you do get that little bit of wiggle room as well. So, yeah, he's quite sweet. So I've got some nice colours of diamonds here. Let's have a look, see if I can get in. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> they definitely do this just for trickers, don't they? Get rid of that crinkly packet there. So... Now then, these don't have the DMC number on, but they do have the kit number on them. So if you look in there, look, it's 10, 15, 64, and that's on uh, your back of your card as well. So if your drills become separated from your card, every packet of drills has that number on it. So you'll always be able to find it. So let's have a look at these colours. So, lovely deep red there. That's nice. And we've got a bit of grey which will be highlighting on your snowman got a bit of green which I think must go on the robin it must be like highlighting on the robin your lovely bright red like an orangey red like another paley grey colour that's like now then these they're like a different colour on one side which I think just makes the depth on them a little bit better and then that one has got an AB coating which is Aurora Borealis um it, it's like a northern lights kind of oil and water coating it, it <clears throat> just makes your drills sparkle that little bit more okay and that's going to be again highlights on the snowman so that's going to look really cool so that's your colors and then you do get your um little standard toolkit that craft buddy send you okay let's get into this all right so you get your little pen which is all you need to get yourself diamond painting it has like a scooped out end there that you put a bit of your pink wax in you do get your little chunk of pink wax oh you don't get your little chunk of pink wax in this one you normally get a chunk of pink wax sorry craft buddy there's one missing out of this one um and then you get your three placer which if you like multi-placing if you put your pink wax in this end here you can pick up three drills at once and then put onto your card in threes obviously you could probably do it on this bit but when you get onto single placing um and smaller parts you're not going to be able to do that there's usually around about 20 baggies when i've counted them i don't count them in every kit but that's usually about 20 so we'll pop that on the side over there get rid of that bag don't like those crinkly bags okay 
and yeah so that's your first card i say i do apologize a bit of christmas but you've got to start christmas sometime and if you're making a lot of cards it's best to get started early so let me just pop this back in this little sealed pouch here i don't like to keep these little bags and keep those in i don't put my tool kits back in them because i do keep those separate but again the packaging's brilliant if you're wanting to give them as presents um, I have just sent some out uh, to my nephew and uh, niece-in-law, as it were, <laughs> um, for them to have a go. And there's everything you need there to get started. So I shall wait for their homework to come back. Okay, which one shall we do next? Oh, let's do the celebration one next. This is lovely. Let's have a bit of a celebration on uh, a spring Sunday morning as it is here in the UK. Oh, this one looks like it's all special drills and crystals oops this one doesn't want to come out sorry i do tend to open them carefully because i do like to keep my packets again you've got all your dmc codes on the back there and it's telling us there we've got an ab so that's brilliant okay and this is quite a fat one so let's have a look okay again just your nice little envelope there nice little white envelope you could actually jazz that up if you get any of the stickers um or put a few crystals on it if you're hand delivering it i wouldn't do that if it's going through the post okay a nice little kit here again standard tool kit let's just double check oh, i can see that there's wax in this one so you know when uh, companies are making thousands and thousands of kits then it's easy to miss out can't open this one where's the end so my eyes aren't Really? <laughs> oh, it's on this side, that's why I can't see it. <laughs> okay, yep, so your bag is, uh, oh, you do get your little green boat as well, which you put your drills in, shake them, and they'll all line up in your little lines there. Yes, yeah, so you do get your bit of wax to put in your pen there, your baggies, and your pen. Okay. If you do get any problems, if you contact um, Craft Buddy Customer Service, uh, they are brilliant they'll get back to you more or less straight away or as soon as they can depending on how busy they are um, and they'll still sort out problems but if you've been down and painting a while you've probably got a awful lot of wax anyway okay so wow those drills look brilliant oh, i like those so it's two little champagne glasses or wine glasses um or sparkling wine glasses or prosecco seems to be the drink at the moment um the stems have got gems on them there the stems have got gems hey <laughs> i'm a poet um the glass the inside of the glass and then all these explosions at the top here like fireworks oh that's wonderful really like that one and again you can use these um i tend to cut the backs off if i want to make a bigger card um and just make this as like a topper or a feature on a card and make it into something uh, bigger if i mean if you wanted it as like an engagement card or a wedding card for everybody in the office to sign if you're back at work some people are back at work now and um, you could make it as big as you want to uh, and just use this as the topper just put some say glitter card or some um gold mirror card would look fab under this when you've got all your gems on again good clear drill field you have got your guide circles so just be careful when you're placing your drills okay so we have again a white a b there with your aurora borealis coating and we have some gold crystals and some pale like champagne color crystals and then they're very unusual they're like a very pale raspberry type crystal very pretty though like those and then the special shapes so these are all your explosions so that's uh, good. We've got two different colours of these. They're like a very thin teardrop. So you'll highlight all the way around here. Oh no, they're not two different colours. They're all E's, but they've come in two separate packets. Yeah, they come in two separate packets. And then your little middles for your explosions there. And look how many we've got. Goodness me, you only need two there. Yeah, I think we only need two. And we've got a big packet there. Oh, that's good. So that's good for using them up on your stamps. Just an idea. 
Okay, so that's the champagne one. Let's put him away. So Craft Buddy have now brought out 15 new cards um, in the three different sizes. One of them is the standard, which is the 8 by 8 that they do, the large square cards. And then they've brought out the long thin ones. And then these are the smaller, like the standard uh, I say like a 10 by 15 centimetre but they're brilliant I do like them and I like the fact that they're bringing out different sizes let's have a look at this one this one will be very sparkly I'm sure oh yes this one is the mandala as I say it, there's something for everybody in these craft kits Um, they're not my cup of tea I have to say these don't really do a lot for me Um, but I know people that do like them and obviously you're not necessarily making the card for you, you're making it for somebody else. So I know this will bring pleasure to somebody else when I send it to them. And so let's just have a look. Let's get our little gems and drills out there. Again, standard toolkit. You can see that one has got the <laughs> wax in it. That's the first time I've had one without any waxing. Very strange. Unless I've missed it somewhere. It still could be stuck in there somewhere. Uh, look at that. So these colours, I do like these colours. I love turquoise um, and we've got purpley and pinks. And you can see, again, it's a partial, but there is an awful lot of area that's going to have the gems and the drills on there. So that's really pretty. OK, oops, put my envelope back in there. It just makes it easier to get my card back in when I put it away. And let's have a look at the gems on this one. Ooh, lots of sparkle. I do love a bit of bling and a bit of sparkle. Okay, so wow. Let's have a look at the DMC numbers on this. So, heck, there's a lot of colours in this as well. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, that's brilliant. Okay, and we've got C there, 5200AB. Okay, right, let's have a look then. So. We've got a lovely purple, that looks sort of a medium purple, that one. We've got like an amber colour, that's, love that one. A nice sea blue colour. Pink, not quite hot pink, but it's nearly there. And we've got your AB, which again is your white coating. Uh, that, I do like that. I use that quite a lot in animal um, eye highlights. And then your two different colours of like turquoisey blue, that one's a little bit of a deeper blue so that's those and then your second strip is your shapes which oh look at those look at that uh, you can see that shape there wow that is superb how many of those do we need oh it looks like there's just one in the middle unless you can spot any but if that's just one look how many we've got oh we've got an escapee there look as well <laughs> A little marquee's come to join the uh, round party there. But the facets on those, and that again, that's got an AB coating, so it gives you all those different colours. Wow. So then we've got your little green sparkly marquees. Some little, uh, what's that, purpley blue marquees, some small ones. And then some teardrops to match. So, yeah, as I say, mandalas aren't really my thing. Um... I do appreciate the patterns, but I love the colours on them. And you may convert me. I may start loving them a bit more. Okay. Wouldn't do for us all to like the same. But as I say, I'm not sending the card to myself. Well, to be fair, some of them I might do because I like them and I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, I've got friends that will love that. Okay, so let's pop that one on one side. So can you see I'm saving the tree one till last because that's my favourite. So I'm making you wait to see that one. And then the butterfly. Oh, it's coming up time for butterflies coming out in the garden again. Um, we do try and plant seeds and things so that we do get butterflies in the garden. Okay. So let's take the card out. Again, it's the same size, the six. Uh, by four inches 10 by 15 centimeters partial oh good clear drill field look at the flowers that's so pretty 
really pretty that one i love the colors the blues are really pretty oh I like that I like that and again a good envelope toolkit with the wax in <laughs> and again 20 baggies i mean you know you've got plenty to bag get into there let me uh, get this one open oh i'm having trouble today okay i think it's because i'm still hospital visiting my hands are just so dry my knuckles and across the backs of my hands i'm going through gallons of hand cream goodness me uh hubby's doing okay um but he's gonna be in well he was supposed to come out this week but anyway he didn't so we're still hoping possibly next week so let's have a look at these drills so we've got our 310 which is our black let me just check oh look two four six eight ten yeah so there's a lot of colors on this one as well so yeah as i say 310 uh the black color is one that you will get to know fairly quickly if you start using dmc numbers and look at all those blues so we've got four different color blues to go on that butterfly so the depth is going to really really stand out and show yeah, it's going to look really good yeah that's absolutely and then we've got like a creamy color we've got that funny like double-sided again it's like cream on one side it's a different color underneath but they do all look the same color once they're on that's um a yellow <clears throat> excuse me i've got frog in my throat this morning a yellow ab so that one's got the aurora borealis coating and again the white ab so yeah some really good colors there so and then you look at that we're doing really well thanks craft buddy these are really good you only need one for the middle and look how many we've got let's have two four six seven there plenty of spares mm. That'd be quite good for making your own butterflies because that's a good base to start off and then just do your wings in gems. Mmm, ideas, ideas. So the kits are yours. The, the, you know, you can do exactly as you want with them, put the colours exactly where craft buddies say. Or if you get a little bit more adventurous, you can start adding different things in if you like. But once you first oh, put these back in the packet, once you first start out, I would say, you know, just do well as it says. Um, but you do tend to get a little bit braver and start thinking of different things as you do in the kits. And think, well, oh, I'm just going to try putting that there. And there is that wiggle room on them. So if you do find you put something down and you don't like it, you can always just take it off. Uh, the glue underneath uh, does stay tacky so if you do take something off and then t pick it back up again you do find that uh, you can re-stick something else or if you find that you've taken the glue off you've done it a few times then um, you can always uh, just use a bit of uh, your sealer or a little bit of glue just to stick another diamond or whatever back on wow look at all the colours on this so what have we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 16 18 20 colors 20 different shapes and diamonds on this all with the fab dmc numbers so that's great but this is my favorite this is tree of life as i call it um wow let's have a quick look at this one so i mean it looks so plain when you see it like that you just think oh yeah it's a tree but then when you're getting closer and you see the different sizes of the gems and the different colours and then the black uh, of the trunk there with all the roots, it just really, that black stands out and all the colours just sparkle. I think this is going to be the first one I do and I'll do a review on this one so that you can see it. But that is just brilliant. 20 colours on a little 6 by 4 card. Wow. That has taken some working out and some doing and it's thanks to uh, the experts that have done this so yeah that, oh, wow see it just doesn't really look much there but once it's done really pops okay your standard toolkit again pop that over there and then let's have a look at these gems. 20 different ones wow way over there let's 
see. So we've got a few different strips. Put my little tape measure. Okay, so these are like your standard sizes. I've got your 310 there, which is your black, which is your tree roots and trunk. Then we've got like a red and your green and your blue and your amber colour there and a pearly green and a purple. As I say, these are like the rainbow colours, aren't they? Wow, look at those. And then we've got another strip which are bigger gems. So we've got one of those uh, like greeny blue faceted larger gems. We've got some bluey purple, larger, sort of medium size uh, gems there, <coughs> all faceted, excuse me. And then we've got a greeny, more green with blue highlights. And we've got slightly larger red, slightly larger gold. As I say, this comes in the fact that the different sizes of gems and then we've got your medium size green there, your medium size purple, your medium size blue, and then the larger of the like amber yellowy colour. Oh, that's your red with a, a yellow has decided to join the red party there. And then these are the bigger ones, which are the, the amber yellow, your blue and your purple. So all your different sizes. So there's three different sizes in each gem. And then some standards as well mixed in. So that's your colours. So this one is absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to get started on it with all these colours. Okay, so we have tree. We have butterfly. We have mandala. Oop. We have let's celebrate with a, a glass of something sparkly and we have Christmas snowman. So there you are. That's your five new cards. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at them all. Sorry, we've got a bit of glare there and a bit of shadow today. Um, I'll have to try and do something about my lights. Uh, but if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed seeing this and enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. And if you want to see a bit more, then if you press the subscribe button, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.